This is a black Gordon fly, which is a summer steelhead fly here. It was uh, originally uh, invented in the 1930s to fish for North Umpqua steelhead. This is kind of like my version of that fly. We're going to be using size 2 uh, Gamgatsu, the T10H3. The size 2 sounds big, but it's actually the same shank length as the size 5 Alec Jackson hooks. And for thread, we're using the Vivas 10 knot, which is just magical. It is just an exceptional thread. Super strong, very small diameter. Um, it's great. All right, um, right at the hook butt, or excuse me, the hook point, we're gonna be just putting a gold tag. So I'm using just some Mylar, um, the Uni Mylar, gold, silver, it's pretty awesome. One side's gold, one side's silver. And we're gonna be using gold because that's traditionally what they used for this fly. And for the butt, we're gonna wrap down, and then we're gonna wrap, wrap back up, excuse me. Five, six, and now I'm wrapping back up. All right. The next piece is just some uh, gold tinsel. I recently just got this super old school gold tinsel. So I'm gonna use it up. Uh, this is probably like a medium oval. And I tie in my gold tinsel right at the return eye. And then I let it go to the opposite, the far side of the hook shank. I'm gonna wrap it down, kind of smooth out the body a little bit. Spin my thread counterclockwise so I can get this smoother. And then the body of this fly is pretty simple. The back part is thread. We're gonna use this uni thread. It's great. The uni stretch thread or floss, excuse me, is pretty pretty amazing covers up really great you don't have to double it up or triple it up and it comes in great colors right about there so I'm gonna the proportions I'm gonna do about a third a third of the body is gonna be red and then two-thirds front of the part of the body is going to be black. So again, I'm just wrapping the floss forward to be about a third of the body. Typically, you want it to be kind of tapered forward. So if my tie-ins have created um, kind of a fat tail section I just go over the front more wraps that looks about right all right so now uh, I'm gonna use just this same thread and I'm gonna create a flat kind of just thread body I'm not even gonna worry about floss because since I'm using black and then I'm going to actually make a dubbing loop. I'm going to put some Angora goat hair in here to, to give it some, some more body. But I'm going to wrap, make sure I have a nice flat all black body. Try to cover up all the gold, obviously all the red.
Um, interestingly enough, this fly does not have a tail. Not really sure why. Really helps if you look at the top down. You can see the the top view of your fly and the and the bottom view, and you can see where you have either spots that are not quite flat or you need to add more to. All right, got our thread. A lot of that's going to be covered up. I'm going to do a double composite loop just to make it stronger. I'm just going to be putting some Angora goat dubbing in it. It's nice and buggy. It looks great in the water. And I'm going to take the goat dubbing, lining it up with my fingers. And then I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to cut it in fourths actually after that as well. So there, cut it in half, line it up again. And then I'm going to cut it in fourths. That's about the length that I want. Shorter. Still line it up. It's pretty sticky to each other, so you can create yourself a little chunk. There we go, got it. Grab your dubbing loop, stick it in there. Use dubbing wax. I just forgot mine. Looks pretty good. And I'm going to spin it. All right. Um, I'm going to do not necessarily touching wraps, I'm going to do kind of open wraps um, going up toward the head just to give this black body of the fly. Again, you don't need to touch wraps. Just kind of open. Great, right there is great. Pull everything back by the head, wrap it off. That body looks great. Pull everything forward because now we're going to wrap our tinsel around everything. All right, here we go. Try not to get any Angora goat in your red part, obviously. I try to go two, two and a half wraps on the red section, and then here we go. One, two. Typically get about three, four. Three and a half, four, four and a half wraps of gold on the black near the head. You just want to make sure to make them even. All right. Ooh, broken thread. So I can save it before it unravels. Got it. Okay, didn't get it. Okay, now I got it. I saved it. All right. So you have a buggy part, nice tail, body looks good, clean. All right, now we're gonna use some schloppen to create a collar. Um, probably only need three or four wraps, but get a nice feather that's webby. 
not too big. This feather is about right. I always kind of check it. That seems perfect. Tied in right about there. Yep. There we go. All right. Clip that. All right. I just do three wraps. Keep kind of sparse. Alright, now I'm going to pull this down and wrap back a little bit so that most of those fibers are underneath. You don't need anything to prop it up. And then the last piece is just going to be calf tail and black. You could use buck tail for this as well. And depending on the size of your fly, you could tie this in size 2, size 4, size 6. Or if it's an Alec Jackson hook, probably size threes and fives. Um, I use the top of the calf tail which has longer fibers. And that helps me when I tie it in. Um, and I get about this much. You want it to go just short of the back of the hook. That looks pretty good. That looks good. Next up, get a dab of super glue to keep it in place. All right. I'm going to use just a touch of Zappa Gap to lock the hairs in place. Just a touch. That might have even been too much. And right away, I'm going to cut my fibers, all of them. That before the glue dries, that'll help me make the head a little bit smaller and keep it clean. While the glue is wet, I'm wrapping the head. All right, that's pretty good. Next up, whip finish, and you're done. And then for, I guess we're not totally done. Head cement, I just use hardest hole. If you're worried about your fly, you could use two coats. I like to do one. All right, and the beast was done. There it is, black Gordon summer steelhead fly. Tight lines.